my name is Mr. Bloom and I'd like to come to see you soon. I'm out on the road, you see, here and there, so that we can get together and have some fun. I'll help you out if there's work to be done. So where is it you like to go? Call me up and let me know. What is it you like to do? I'll pop along and do it too. Cities, towns and countryside. I can travel far and wide. I'm all about and everywhere. I'm here and there. Tiddlers, are you tiddling? Oh, Mr. Bloom here. And uh, apart from gardening, I like going out and about. I like going here and there, doing lots of fun things and finding out about new places. And I've been wondering, what do you like to do where you live? Hmm? Perhaps um, you might like going to the beach with your family or visiting museums. Oh, well, it looks like somebody wants to tell me. You know what? I'd love to come. Whereabouts will I end up next? Let's put my route finder to the test. It could be a beach, a village or a city, museum or a school, a garden so pretty, a church or a station, a river or town. I just can't wait till you show me around. Tiddlers, I'm on my way. So where am I today? Well, here we are. I'm dressed up for the beach and ready to go. Now, I just need to find those tiddlers. I I think this is the right beach, but they're not having a paddle or making a sandcastle. I wonder where they might be. Hang about. Hey, what's going on over there? Should we take a look? Ready? Ankles together! Chins on Miguel, hello Joe, it's nice to see you. <laughs> hey, and thanks for inviting me along today. This looks cracking. So, uh, who are all your friends here? There's um, nippers and they are coaches. And what, what are you training for? Um, um, to be a lifeguard. Really? Now, I didn't know that tiddlers like you could be lifeguards. Yeah? If I wanted to be a nipper, what would I have to do? You would have to train in the swimming pool. You have to train on the beach. Right, so you have to be able to swim if you want to be a nipper, yeah? Yeah. And how old do you have to be? Seven. Seven, is that right? Are you seven, Joe? Um, you can play with your dad. What's your favourite thing about being a nipper, Joe? Um, doing flags. Doing flags? Is this what your friends are doing right now? The coaches and junior lifeguards put the flags well, they're really just pieces of pipe. They put them in the sand. And then the nippers have to lie down and not look. Then, when the coach blows a whistle, the nippers have to jump up and race to grab a flag. There they go. Hey, but you know what? It's just like musical chairs, because there are never enough, and the last one there is out. So you've got to be able to swim, you've got to be five if you were your dad or seven, and uh, what are you wearing here? Um, a wetsuit. Wet That's right. Why are wetsuits important, Joe? Because they make you warm. That's right. Sometimes the sea it can be quite chilly, so if you're wearing a wetsuit, you don't get quite as cold, do you? No. 
So tell me, what other types of training do you do? Runway run. Runway run? Hey, that sounds exciting, Joe. Would you like to see it? Oh, you bet I would. So what do we have to do? You have to go over there between the two lifeguards and stand there and then we get in our place and you have to put your hands up and put them down and then that means we have to run around the first lifeguard and then run across you, run across the other lifeguard and then through the finish line and stop. Wow, so I'll take my arms, throw them up in the air, and bring them down and then you're off, is that right? Yes. All right, well this sounds good to me, I tell you. You run over to your friends and I'll go get in the seat. Runway run is like a practice rescue. It's how the nippers practice running through the water quickly. Right, so I think I'm ready to be rescued. Now, for I remember, Abigail said I need to raise my arms up when I'm ready. Here we go! Oh, good running, good running, nippers! Good running, that's it, keep going! Aha! Second. Brilliant! Fourth. Ah, yeah. Top work, high five, nippers! Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant! I wow! I Who won that? Me! Did you? I came fourth. Wow, was that, was that yeah. good fun? Was that good fun? You guys were tearing through the water. Yeah. How do you run through the water like um, that so fast? You just go like this and run. Really? You hold your feet up high, yeah? yeah? Like that. Like yeah. this? Like that. Yeah. yeah. Is this right? Hey, the root fire is going to show us some of the training we were doing. All the games the nippers play help them practice the skills they need to be lifeguards. They need to react quickly, have eagle eyes to spot people in the sea, and run really fast. And uh, Joe, I wonder why do you think it's important to have lifeguards on a beach like this? Because if they're in trouble, the lifeguards will come and save them. That's right. If people are in trouble in the water, then the lifeguards go and help them. Abigail tells me there have been surf life saving clubs in South Wales for almost 50 years. Ah, now that's a long time keeping people safe. What's the crap with these hats? Why are you wearing these hats in nippers? Because if we got in trouble, they know where we are and they would come and save us and they knew that one of the nippers. Ah, oh, right, I see. So you wear the hats so the lifeguards can see you. Yeah. Is that right, Joe? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, oh, looks like my root finder. Hey, you know what it's going to show us? It's going to show us about all the other things you can get up to at the seaside. People have been coming to the seaside for years and years because there's loads of things you can do. You can build a sandcastle. Or you could go for a paddle. Hey, you could watch a Punch and Judy show. Or just play with a bat and ball. Or if you've had lots of training, you could go surfing. Surfers practice hard so they can catch a wave and stand up on the boards. They have to be strong swimmers. But if something goes wrong and they need help, lifeguards can speed to the rescue. It's great spending time at the seaside. The relay race is where the nippers really practice their speed. Wow, look at them go!
All that running, it looks like a good exercise to me. Hi, Mr Bloom. I'm Tom. Ah, Tom, it's nice to meet you. Now, uh, you look a bit big to be a nipper to me. Are you a surf lifesaver too? Yes, I'm involved in the national team. I've uh, grown up being a nipper, so ah. I've been involved since I was around eight years old. I see, right. So, uh, where are you doing your surf lifesaving now? Have you moved well, on? Well, I'm still involved locally, but I've been across the world to France, yes. Australia, a number of places, really. Right, so Australia, so that's right the other side of the world. And uh, did you have to use any of the skills that you learnt as a nipper over there in Australia? Yeah, I was racing in the world titles in Australia. Whilst we were there, there was a little little problem where we all had to rush in and save some people where there was boats hitting rocks and things like that. So right. the skills I've learned as a nipper have really helped me. I see. So all these nippers here, the skills they're learning, they'll be able to use them in the future to yeah. save, save lives, just like you have. Yeah, exactly. The skills they learn will stay with them for a lifetime. Hey, jolly good. So, are you off into the sea now? Yeah, just going in to catch some waves. All right, well, I'll let you get on. Yeah, nice to I'll see you. on you. Cheers, Tom. In you come, nippers! <laughs> Well, you know what? I can certainly see why you love being part of Surf Life Saving Wales, cos I have had a cracking time today. Have you had fun? Yeah! Yeah? Well, you know what? I've got to say a big thank you to you, Tiddlers, for inviting me here today, but uh, it's time I hit the road. So, you join me soon when I'll be... Here I'll be. That's right. Bye-bye! Bye! Where is it you like to go? Call me up and let me know. I'll pop along and do it too Cities, towns and countryside I can travel far and wide I'm all about and everywhere I'm here and there 